Several months ago, I made a video entitled, Five Things I Hate About the Honda Pioneer 500. And I did that because everybody does it, and it's good to be honest about the things we don't love about each machine. However, it would not be honest to Honda, it wouldn't be fair to Honda or the Pioneer 500 if I didn't also do a Five Things I Love About the Honda Pioneer 500 video. Number one, I love and cherish the memories I have made side by side with my family and friends in this little machine on many off-road adventures. Number two, let's be honest folks, we love the price of these machines. I was able to purchase this one brand new in Phoenix for $8,750 out the door. That's a lot of machine for the money. A very capable machine for the money. That is the exact price you would pay for certain models of brand new Honda four-wheelers like a Rubicon or a Foreman or even a loaded Rancher. And you're getting a very capable, fun side-by-side. I love the size of this machine because of everything you can do with that size. I can haul this in the bed of my half-ton pickup truck without a problem. I don't even have to use a trailer. It's easy to get in and out of there. I can get in and out of the tightest trails and washes and nooks out in, out in the wilderness because it's so narrow and it has a short wheelbase. The size is also awesome because it fits easily in a shop or a garage. And let's not forget that it's amazing, it's fun and awesome to have access to all trails, including 50 inch trails that quads use. Next, I love the low gearing. I really do. It means you don't have much top speed, but you get used to that and you plan for it. I love the low gearing of this machine. In first gear, it always has enough power. There is always enough torque on tap to be able to turn these tires. Whether you have traction or not, the tires will turn, even all four of them. That has been my experience, and that is not the case with all machines out there, but it is with this one. I love those low one, two, three gears for rock crawling and getting in and out of tight spaces out in nature. It's a blast. The next thing I love about this machine is I have always felt total confidence that I will be able to get out and back. I don't know why that is, I think it's tied to the name Honda, but for some reason I have never doubted it to get out into the gnarliest, most remote areas and know that I will get back. I'm not worried about a belt breaking or anything of that nature. I have really enjoyed these paddle shifters and also the manual and automatic modes in the transmission. What a great setup. The paddle shifters are a blast. I even had a guy telling me last weekend out on a ride together that he thought they were fun. And one last thing that I will mention that owners love about the Honda Pioneer 500 is how customizable it is, how easy and simple it is to personalize one of these machines to your personality, your riding style, uh, the places you ride, and that just makes them really fun and engaging. There is a very robust aftermarket for the Honda Pioneer 500. And they sell like hot bread because of it and how fun they are to work on and tinker with. It's a very simple side-by-side, -side, a very simple platform. And that makes it a real joy to own and work on. So there you have it, a list of about seven things that I have loved about the Honda Pioneer 500. I'll say it again, this machine has been a real treat, a pleasure, a blast to own, to operate, and uh, to enjoy with my family and friends. Since we bought it new in 2018, we uh, named it Rambo, and that name stuck. And tomorrow, if all goes according to plan, Rambo will be going with a new owner down to Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. Yep, leaving the country. And um, we will kick off, we'll miss Rambo, and we will kick off our 2020 season of side-by-side -side riding and evaluation over here in Arizona with this recently acquired 2019 Can-Am Commander DPS 1000R. So we, uh, we did about, I guess, 78 or 79 videos of this machine in action. Loved it and uh, look forward to doing the same and putting many miles on the V-Twin. Here we go.